Hey guys, SlySonic7 back again, and here we are back in Ratchet and Clank, the game, the movie, based on the game, you get the idea. So, part two now, in the last episode we united these two guys in the best bromance of video games, Ratchet here, and Clank here. So cute, Clank. Clank the backpack. So basically the whole idea now is we're going to be taking Clank back to the garage to get Ratchet, uh, sorry, take Clank back to the garage to fix him up. So hitting these guys don't give me any bolts. So is there really any point to hitting them? No. Okay. Yeah, they, don't, they don't even hurt me by touch. Okay. So let's just keep going. So guys, in the last episode, uh, we got to really see the beginning of this, and it was super awesome just seeing how everything kind of started up. And it was a ton of fun. Uh, one sec. All you need to do is check across trusty swing shot. Oh, okay. So you just have it to begin with now. That's different than the old games. So the swing shot, as you can see, is just nifty enough. Oh, wait, wait. Combustor. Okay, so this is our blaster. So, as you can kind of get the idea, the uh, you know, the swing shot swings you across. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's a hold triangle. Okay. So just saying, shoot that. Got it. Interesting. Impressive shooting. What? Oh my god. I like this new functionality. Great. No, no, don't want to keep firing that. That's bad. Um So I was gonna say in the last game in the last episode, we started to see just, you know, how this was all being put together here. Oh, so it's just saying move it like this, strafe and throw. Let's see. Can I throw? Oh, okay, just saying shoot. Yeah, I'm not catching on too fast here. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, so in the first one, it was really just about laying out all this context, and I think now we're finally going to get into a lot of the fun action of this game, which is, at its peak, this game is a lot of fun. It's just, like, as far as the fast-paced action that it has. And there's just so many different weapons. So you have a blaster, you can have bombs, you can have, you know, snipers, nukes, like, all these different things as you keep going. And it really is just an amazing kind of, like, pick-your-poison type of game, which, you know... Just makes for a really fun experience. Okay, so let's see. So I'm gonna shoot these guys a little bit here. And last guy, where are you? Oh, two guys. Okay, is that guy dead? No, he's not. Holy crap, we have two health. Don't die. Woohoo! Okay. I mean, again, the reason why I'm kind of sounding like, yay, and not like, wow, yeah, is like, just, you know, if you die, like, who gives a crap? It's very early in this game. It's not like we had just done something that was, like, spectacular, that, like, you know, if we lost it, we'd be done or something. Um, even just little things, though, like how the slingshot is now, instead of actually just having something that shoots, kind of like Batman style, like, now it's like, you know, kind of like this tether. Like, it's a really, really cool little, like, step that they do to it. And I really do appreciate it. Holy crap. Nope. We're not gonna hit that. Ouch. Okay, I have one health. So we're just gonna keep doing this little side jump. Uh, a little bit worried. Don't really know how to beat this thing. Just don't know how much health it really takes either. So this is gonna be fun. So we're just gonna keep drifting back and forth and shooting and yes! Okay, awesome. So that was actually pretty cool. So we got an ammo crate here, luckily. Let's get a little bit back here. This game is a lot harder on ammo than I think the other ones have been. And I don't know if it's just because I chose to do hard mode or if, or if that's just how they program it. Um, Okay, that's a little bit strange, because I thought I was hold circle for this. Ah, okay, so if I press this, maybe I get away? Nope. Let's see. Nope! How do I get back to just using my swing shot? Interesting. Um, I'm not quite sure how to... Oh, you said to walk close enough for this thing to work. That sucks, because I wasted a lot of ammo there. Okay. So we're basically back at the garage, luckily enough, so that's fine. Um, but it's weird, so they're actually launching like a full-scale assault here looking for the defect, which, you know, we know, we know is Clank now. So 
So I'm just going to hit this guy with a wrench. And we die. Okay. So we had no health. That was pretty much expected. And now with respawning, we're actually giving pretty much full ammo, which is awesome. So let's just take this guy out pretty quick. Okay, I'm going to call bullshit on this. There's no way you should hit me from that angle. Okay, and you're dead. So, okay. And did I just get rare retainium? I did. That's cool. I don't know why any of them had that in their body, but, you know, it's a separate point. Um, okay, so let's see. So we're getting pretty close here, and I think we're about to get back to the garage. And we'll be able to heal up, I guess, fix up Clank, so let's just see how the story progresses. A few last guys here, so let's just switch over to the bombs, take them out quick. The blast radius on this thing is ridiculously low. Like, I feel like if you throw a bomb and it lands right next to a guy, it's pretty much taken out. Like, I'm definitely no bomb expert, but just overarching thoughts. Okay, this is bad. And, yep, yeah, that ended up pretty much like I was expecting it to. Not good. Uh, so let's think here. So we can take out these guys again. Okay, so he's gone, which is good. Uh, slowly building up the experience, hopefully getting a little bit more health. We'll see how it goes. Um, okay, new card. Which one did we get here? Oh, great, a wrench. <laughs> so, nothing that crazy. An Omni wrench set. Oh man, what I've always wanted. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the health. Okay, so we gotta think of a way to really kind of quickly take these guys out. So I think it is actually just a combustor. I'm just kind of firing on them a little bit, strafing as we go, but just more focused to really take out, you know, a certain subset here. But here comes the gunship, which obviously is our bigger concern. Yeah, no, I'm pretty much dead. That's good. That's about what I expected. <laughs> so, I'm going to cut forward until I have an idea on this, so I don't just kind of keep wasting your time. But yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm basically just trying the side, stri the side strafing strategy right now. Because I figure if I can take this thing out, the smaller ones just really aren't that big of a deal. Um, but, unfortunately, now all I have are bombs, which I think are going to be a little bit hard to nail this thing. Could be wrong. Oh, wow, that was actually a pretty good shot. And so was that one. And that one. Beautiful. So now let's take these guys out. And holy crap, don't die. Come on, we got so close this time. Don't die, don't die. Right in the face. In the face! And they got him. And no, 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 no. Whack you with my wrench. Wait, what? Coast is clear, good. Now let's just walk around really quick, see if we can find some health, just in case. So basically what I learned is that I should have just kept walking through, because there was just more ammo and life on the other side. So tip to anyone else who's going through this and saying, man, why do I only have two weapons? Uh, the answer is because you can go to the other side and just reload everything, as I'm seeing right here. Because I'm an idiot. Okay. So, in we go. And... On to the cutscene of fixing Clank, I guess. Return to the garage. Ch so you're actually following the story of the first game, I guess, in terms of the order of the planets, potentially, which would be really cool. So let's see. Well, it's it's damaged, but I fixed it. Oh my god. Sorry I'm saying so many of these lines, but I'm reading them and just laughing my ass off as I'm seeing these. Okay, so we're going to see our first Gadgetron vendor here. So we can get full health and ammo, cost 60, that's fine. What is this saying? Upgrades. I don't care about them. Oh. Ugh, fine. They're just trying to teach me how to use rare titanium. Okay, so use rare titanium to purchase upgrades. Yeah, so using... So there's basically... For each weapon, you can have different types of upgrades. So for using, say, my blaster, I'll get 5% more bolts. Or I can, you know, keep getting 5% more bolts. And then rare titanium. So I can just buy all of them and like, Whoa, look at that! It's a mystery upgrade. Because you surround it, means it gives you more damage. So this is the tutorializer, 
which is a great way of saying that nothing has actually happened yet. So we have our gun and we have our grenade. Uh, neither of these really do that much. Uh, the one thing I do want to do for the, grade, for the grenade is the area of impact. Ammo would be nice too. Uh, so let's see, total cost. Yep, cool. So we're going to use basically all of our upgrades here on the grenades, just because long term that's going to be our more powerful weapon. And the big thing I want to make sure is just the area of effect. So if you throw it a little bit to the left of the guys, it still works, things like that. So full health and ammo, here we go, 60 like we were saying. Now we have two options here. We can do the Pyrocitor, which is going to be basically a flamethrower, or this Proton Drum deploys a supermassive pseudo-atom that regulates regularly emanates a wide disk of damaging atomic energy. So that sounds cool, but we don't really have any bolts for it. Uh, I don't really think I need anything yet, so I'm going to just stick without these, just because potentially the second one of the proton drum sounds a little bit more, like a little bit cooler. So I just want to try to save up a little bit for that. So let's walk around here. And the first thing I want to say is just how beautiful all this looks. Just because, oh, my, even underwater is so great. Touch this little TNT crate, and it blows everything up. Perfect. What? What the fuck just happened? Maybe we should upgrade our weapons first. We're gonna go back there just to understand what the hell killed us. Oh, now I see. It's our breath. It just was a hilarious timing that as that thing blew up, that we died. So let's get up, because we have 20% left, and try as he might, Ratchet could not breathe underwater. And I, I'm just going to apologize right now, I have the sound on low, because if I play it on high, I get kind of like a double sound, so I'm probably saying these as Quark is saying them, which may be annoying to you guys, so I'll try to just keep the jokes to myself, I guess. Um, I just, I, I love how this is kind of like a uh, reverse storytelling aspect, which is like, you know, Quark just trying to be saying the story of like where it all went wrong, essentially. So, I mean, major props to them for finding a kind of a creative way of bringing you back, which is really cool. Alright, so, let's we'll mash these crates, and let's dive in. And just as a general update for you guys, I think uh, the idea is, I'm going to try to do one world uh, per level, I mean, per, per episode. If the level, if the worlds are just super long, like I get that. Uh, let's get up before that thing blows up, before we die again. And I think, yeah, because, so this game, if I, it's anything like the first, is going to have like 15, 16 worlds. Some of them may, may require other episodes, and like, you know, you could do like the main mission of one world, for instance, one episode, and then do a side mission the next one. But I really do want to try to actually have everything like on camera here, so like no like just off camera work on this. Um, just because I think that a big part of this game is really the explore, you know, the, the exploration aspect. Hey, do you not die? Because I'm pretty sure I shot you. Oh uh, no, no, you don't die. Uh, and now you finally split. That's a bad sign for my blaster. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to the grenade for the obvious part that this just didn't do anything. Blows them all up. Walk closer, walk closer, walk closer. I probably could have used that Pyros there. Or maybe hard mode just gives these guys a ridiculous amount of health. So if you see the top left here for level one, we're almost upgraded actually, which is awesome. So an upgrade is going to fully bring back all of our health, but it's also going to, uh, and they'll come with different impacts, but it can be anything from more ammo to potentially more damage like there's a lot of interesting ones i'm just gonna leave him there because i don't want to worry about that so we're just gonna keep walking <laughs> uh ammo give me a bomb good so here we go okay what is this So we're outside, do we see anything, or was that really worth anything? They said hidden treasure, so there's got to be something. I see this one crate down here, so what's this? Okay, let's get up. Is there anything, or is that just all bolts? 
absolutely nothing worthwhile. Why is there a cave then? Seems like a bit of a waste. Okay, anyways, we're out. So, now let's really quickly refill health and ammo, and let's keep going. So, we only need... <laughs> that looks happy. I can imagine. This is true. <laughs> Alright, awesome guys. So what happened is that by killing this group right here, we actually got to upgrade our bomb now to level 2, which as you see, 25% damage increase and upgrades new Raritanium upgrades, which is awesome. So the whole idea is that to fully upgrade your weapons, you need to really just, you know, keep beating opponents, or I'm sorry, um, keep repetitively using the weapon to unlock the upgrades, which is a good system for like making you actually use them as they come. So let's see, if we jump across, uh, over here, yep, cool, so there was something secret there. Uh, I mean, it just seems like a card, so it doesn't really seem like, oh, a full pack, I guess? Oh, wow, yeah, full pack. So I guess, okay, well, that's nice, actually. So hidden aspects can include full packs, too, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you guys hear any uh, noise or running around, my uh, my dog Lola and my roommate's dog are just running around on the couches right now, and they're having a great time. <laughs> yes, Lola, hello. Okay, so we're just gonna try to take this guy out now. Uh, okay, so these guys we know we can take with the blaster, which is good. Collected a duplicate. Okay, so that's interesting. So basically we collected one that we've already had, so they said, you know, collect more and you can trade them in. I'm really interested in this whole trading card system here, just because it's a completely new thing that they've done, which is, you know, it's nice to see them getting creative at least. Um, is there anything around here that I need? Alright, so moving on here, so we're going to go to the next room, and there's a couple enemies here, so just got to make sure we're being smart about these guys. Um, so, these guys take about like three or four hits from the blaster right now, which isn't great, and I just got killed. Uh, was there some turret there? I think there might have been. Oh, yep, there was. So let's uh, quickly get over there, so they can't use that. Nope, that's, there's no turret. Oh, it's just this guy launching. Okay, so here we go, so let's just take this guy out. Okay, so he's gone, so that's great. Um, our blaster is actually got to upgrade too, which is cool. So now that's just these two guys, it's actually pretty easy to take them out. Um, even though I have two health, somehow. And he's gone. Awesome. Okay, so we got through all these guys, finally. Um, XP bonus. Could not get here soon enough. Would love it to get here. I think there's health here, too. Cool. And let's just restock really quick. So this is going to be adjusting the height a little bit here, and just setting the motion to, yep, there we go. Go up and down. Cool. Alright, and... Oh god. I hate these things. Okay, we don't have much health. Okay, don't fall. So let's just be careful. There we go. Each of these are one shot, so that's good. Oh, more of our favorite friends. And these guys are gone. And then here's my favorite guy in the game. Ah, they changed it. <laughs> Have we met before? They added glasses. They make him. It's the same guy you meet, but in the old games. He, uh, you know, he has the classic plumber's crack, and Ratchet's making a joke about it. Turns around all mad. But this is interesting. They changed up his entire facial look, basically. Like, same round face, but now he has a beard, which he didn't have. 
and he has glasses, and just like before, he's saying, um, uh, just like before, he was saying, you know, you know, here's an info bot that you could use to continue on your ground, to continue on your trip. Chairman of Drek Industries. Alonzo Drek? I never knew that was his first name. <laughs> heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G red ship. <laughs> the end <laughs> simple, friends. Progress. Years ago, Progress? Driven underground by pollution that... Is that the Megaport factory? Definitely was. I think I just really got that link from the second game. Wow, okay. We've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. <laughs> now that the completion, we must do everything possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our friendly army of warbots must vanquish those who would seek to stop us. Good news? I guess it's a lot more upfront than I think they don't know we're coming. It's a lot more upfront than anything that the old game was, which was like, you know, is this kind of secret thing that no one knew he was doing this? Now he's kind of just announcing to the world that we're taking, uh, you know, bits of your planet as we go. And then, I remember this. Yep, dives down. Wee! Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? <laughs> okay, I'm glad that they actually keep a lot of the lines from the original games because I, I do remember these where Ratchet's like, oh, "What? Did he just slide down a sewer pipe?" And you kind of sitting there like in disbelief, being like, "I think he did." Okay, so nothing else here. I think there's like a box on the side here. Um, okay, and then other than that, sewer pipe, which we just slide down to get right down. To so. Geronimo! Even the water just looks so nice in this game. It's crazy. And we're getting a ton of bolts. Awesome. Wait, how am I stuck? Okay. So let's talk to him. Looks like the mayor is in trouble, which means that we have to go down. So, here we go. So, we've actually been, been doing this for a little bit, so I'm actually going to pause here and defend the planet. So guys, it's been Sly Sonic 7. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.